What's good? It's Mr. Get Your Buzz Up. We get your buzz up here once again with get the Homie Take up. Nine. Get your buzz up, Mr. Get Your Buzz Up, man. We've been doing this. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? This is like a family thing, you know? Hell yeah, man. So uh, how's the tour going, man? It's going better. I'm a real one, so it started out slow, man, you know? And um, uh, I'm trying not to say too much. Uh, I was late on my uh, release mm-hmm. to my album. Yeah. It's supposed to be September 9th. The tour started September 8th, which probably would have prompted more people to come to the place that we'd never been at the beginning yeah. of this, but it was really slow, man. And it's scary, you know what I'm saying? You think that people are falling off of you, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it, it was real hard at the beginning of this tour, but toward the middle, it started selling out again. Yeah. And it was a relief because when you're in it this long, you, you feel like, how long can this possibly go? Yeah. Y'all still wanna hear Tech 9 you know what I'm saying? I'm about to be 45 years old. I yeah. feel young, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, uh, and I look young, but it's like, uh, you wonder. Yeah. And yeah, the fall tours are usually slower, but at the beginning it was slower than uh, usual. Yeah. And uh, it was all on me because I wanted to make a perfect storm. Mm. You know, so we pushed it back to December 9th. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking for a great reward because I put my foot in this record, you know what I'm saying? And uh, well, for you to say that, then, I, I wanna, that really means something. I want to, you know, I've been leaking some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I leaked three on the ninth to say I'm sorry to my fans, you know? Um, I leaked one from each level of the album, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Kingdom is the first level where it has all the narcissistic music. So the most narcissistic of all is yeah. everybody but me, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody but me, Yo, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, Played that for some uh, high school kids. They lost their mind. Yeah, they owed yeah, the video. They yeah, knew the song yeah. already, but I played the video. They yeah. lost their mind. It was crazy. Yeah. So it, uh, to me, it's about time to say f everybody but me because for years a lot of people outside of Strange Land are saying f me, and we listen to everybody else. Mm-hmm. Like, forget Tech Nine, and we don't listen to that. We listen to that because that's we make that with white folks or yeah. the, the Columbine music or whatever, you know, and. Uh, so it was time for me to say everybody but me because I put the most in it yeah. and I go the hardest. So I have a right to feel narcissistic like that. And some of my fans are like, Tag, when have you changed? You changed. You, it's all about love. Yeah, it's all about love, but if you don't love us, fuck you. I feel that. Because we love. So fuck everybody but me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss, but no, uh, you good, that's just how I feel. So I put that one out first out of Kingdom. It's a lot of other narcissistic music in Kingdom, like Bitch Get Off Me and all that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, um, Sriracha's up there, yep. you know what I'm saying? There's a couple more up there. That's a hot record. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so I, li- I released Everybody with me, But Me on the 9th from Kingdom. I released from Clown Town, I Get It Now. Like, mm-hmm. it totally negates what the king is talking yeah. about, the clown, because being human is being contradict yeah. sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not scared to do it because sometimes I question what I do, you know what I'm saying, within mm-hmm. me, you know what I'm sizzling? And um, uh, so I dropped I Get It Now from The Clown. Like, I get it now, I'll never fit in. Yeah. No matter how hard I try, you know, I'll never fit in, so I'm going to do what I can I do to stand the hell out, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so that came out of Clown Town in the third level, the G-Zone. I uh, talked about a story. I put my story on how I started and I intertwined it with the Alton Sterling story that happened in Baton mm-hmm. Rouge when he got killed by the yeah. cops for selling CDs outside the store, you know what I mean? And the reason why I chose to do that song and intertwine his life with mine because what he had on is what all me and my homeboys, when our blood neighborhood, we grew up wearing mm-hmm. red t-shirt, khaki shorts in the summertime. So we fit the description. They were saying that Alton Sterling, like, well, he was a bad guy, you know, he had priors, he had this, he was a bad guy. I was too. Mm-hmm. I was a dope dealer, I was a gangbanger, I was a shoplifter, I was a drug user, you know what I'm saying? But now, Forbes list four times, own yeah. label, leading an army 
of technicians. People change is what I was trying to say. Like, you put me on a pedestal, just don't write him off exactly. because he had priors. Exactly. Because we all had priors. But people change. So I said, what if it was me? You love me. Would it mean anything to you if it was me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Since that didn't mean anything to you because you put me on a pedestal. That's what that song, What If It Was Me, is about. And I shot a video for it and everything. You know what I'm saying? All the three songs I put out, Everybody But Me, I Get It Now, What If It Was Me, I shot videos before I left Kansas City for oh, this that's tour. that's what's up. So they're I mean, all coming. Any, any one of your fans will understand the project because you've talked about it since kind of almost day one that you have, you're just not one type of person. You I'm have not. multiple facets that yes. make up you. Totally. So you having a project like this, uh, makes perfect sense. Exactly. So, and with that song, Everybody But Me, or Everybody But Me, mm -hmm. um, I seen an interview you did um, with Peter Parker in, yeah. in Minnesota. Yes. And what was dope is you were talking about the record, but then you were talking about um, how you were making this project without even thinking that you're gonna have a single come off of it no, like I'll, that because you can't, you can't duplicate We'll go crazy. Yeah, you can't duplicate that. Exactly. So, and it made me think, I'm like, wow. Like, I've been a f day one fan. Mm -hmm. Right when you started seeing some quote unquote commercial success, mm -hmm. that same year, you drop a heavy metal project. Yes. Like, you drop two projects in one year. And it's like, whenever you start going one way, uh -huh. Every other artist would force it. They would force it like, we got to say commercial, we got to say commercial. Yes. You go right. Yes. And like, fuck it. I'm going to do me because this is my music. And granted, gotta, you got a single, but it wasn't planned. I got I to gotta be happy about it. You know what I'm saying? It got to come natural, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Chris Calico gave me that single, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I was writing too much of my life, I guess. I don't know. But um, my colleagues didn't hear a single. I heard a couple of them. I got a weed single on there. Oh, okay, I see? I got a hyphy <laughs> single on there, you know what I'm saying? But, but they were saying, yeah, that's the first and third. I mean, that's the second and it's third, third but, but we need a first. They come right out so the I gate. I was like, I don't know, man. I'll keep on writing it. <laughs> Everything I kept writing was darker, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like the beats made me do something darker, you know? Even from the people who were sending me beats who did Hood Go Crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they sent me one. And I made it, I called it Need Jesus. <laughs> there people saying, I need Jesus. I don't think I need Jesus. I got Jesus. You yeah. need Jesus saying, I need Jesus because I look crazy and I like horror movies and I like this and you know what I'm saying? You saying, I need Jesus? That's I grew funny. up in the church. Fuck yeah. you. You need Jesus. So I did, didn't need Jesus to those beats that the Hugo Crazy people sent me. You know? That's, <laughs> so, Chris Calico, that's crazy. God was seven and they presented everybody but me with me with Busy on the busy, Hook and I'm yeah. like, if it makes me move, it just like Hood Go Crazy made me yep. move, I'm a, I'm a b-boy, you know what I'm saying? Break dance, pop lock, and all that, even him, MC Hammer dancing back in the day. And um, so I know what makes people move. Yeah. So yeah. that beat made me move, so I did it. You know what I mean? Man. And well, it's, the, it's catching on. The record's know? crazy, yeah, you're Thank blowing you. up. Now, homie, <clears throat> like you said, we're like family up here. Okay. So we're really gonna talk about it uh -huh. because I love seeing you get all this commercial success yep. is dope. Yeah. You deserve it. And I love the fact that you always said, I'm never going to change. I'm never going to conform to what you want me to be. Totally. I'm going to stay me. Strange is going to stay the way we, the, we stay. No doubt. And you motherfuckers are just going to have to get on the train and jump on with us. Totally. Does it, do you ever look at it like these were all the same people that didn't fuck with us? for how long and now yes. everybody's just basically jumping on your yes. dick like I, yes. I and this is no disrespect and I'm not trying to make a controversy <laughs> no, out of it good. like I'm totally relaxed no radio station like fuck with you I know and now everywhere you go like every radio station wants to fuck with you because I uh I know that they I was, I was hard to swallow they didn't know what to do with red hair and Painted face and bishop's robe. They ain't know what to do. That ain't dope music is that, dope music. That's what I said, and that's what hurt me. You know what I'm saying? We just now start playing again because we lost a lot of money back in the day on I'm a player and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So we stopped trying to pay for radio back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I know you ain't supposed to say that, but yeah. it's a part of it. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? When they like the song, then it's about the bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, they liked to go crazy. 
but they like fragile first. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar was going up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool with everybody in the industry. I can call anybody and say, hey, I want to come to your show in Vegas on uh, New Year's Eve, Drake. Can I get in? Yeah, can you get, us, get me and my girl in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> R. Kelly, you're going to be in Vegas, too, the day before that. Can I, can I get tickets? You know, yeah, we got you, Tech. You know what I'm saying? Weekend, you know, call his manager. Mm-hmm. like, yo, it's me. What's up? What's up, OG? I'm trying to come to y'all show on January 2nd. I'm going to be in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we're going to be at Dreyas. Let's go. You know, I, Corey Taylor, you're playing over in Germany. Mm-hmm. My people over there want to go to the show. We got you, Tech. You know what I'm saying? Serge Tonkin, I'm, I'm trying to... I love System of a Down. I'm trying to go to the show over there in um, New Zealand where you live now, brother. You know what I'm saying? Can I come? We got you, man. Just show up. You know, I can do it everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, why was I talking about that? <laughs> Just how does, do you look at people funny that are now jumping on your dick? No, 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 or, no. or do you, or how, no, no, no. What, what's I, going through your head? I, I was saying that all these people love me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they, I use that to my benefit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, okay, they're used to 2 chains. I just met 2 chains. He called me in Kansas City and said, hey, I want you to come to my show. I respect what y'all do, you know, show-wise. I want you to tell me, you and Chris to tell me what you think yeah. about my show. And we watched it and he killed it at the Midland in Kansas mm-hmm. City. We went backstage home, like he said, stay the whole show and let me know when you get done. And um, we got back there and told him he did good, you know what I'm saying? So we had just hooked up with 2 Chains, and I'm like, you know, 2 Chains is on the radio a lot, and um, I need the radio to be stranger. So I like how you put that. So I'm going to say, hey, Chains, man, I got this song, this party song, Hook Go Crazy, I need you on it to bless it. And it made it easier for my people that were working the record to say, hey, this is B.O.B., Two Chains mm-hmm. and Tech Nine, yeah. and it's a wonderful song. It ain't yeah, just because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. on it that it popped, but they helped. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was a wonderful tune that Bob Nim came up with for me to send it to Chains mm-hmm. and for him to dig it. So I choose, I choose these beats. I could choose something whack with Two Chains on it and yeah. Bob, and they like we don't feel the record. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. care if they're on it. You know what I'm saying? The record was good. Fragile was good. Yeah. It was a really good song. Yeah. But it's political, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what to do with this guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now that everybody but me is just me and with Busy on the hook yep. with Chris Calico, it's going to be harder mm. because they just got to sell me. Yeah. Like, okay, you ain't got no features on it? Not Kevin Gates? Not, um, you know what I'm saying, which I love Kevin Gates. But yeah. Not Kevin Gates? You don't have a Future on it? And you don't have Young Thug on it? But it's just Tech 9 Okay, we'll see. Let us listen. It's a good song. Yeah. So it's working, but we're going to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, it's harder. It's harder. So people, your question was, you know, is it weird that everybody's on the jock right now? I expected it because I always had something special. Yeah. I just been waiting on everybody to fucking get it. It's about time they did. Mm-hmm. It, it took them long enough because the music's always been there. Like, yeah. You talked about it before when one of the last interviews, you said the music's always there. It doesn't matter yeah. who's doing a feature with me. They just better bring their game. Like so you said this, that about you said that before the M feature. You were like, yeah. I want to do it somewhere with M, but he better bring it. Yeah, he yeah. better. He, bring, he, he brought it. Oh, he brought it. That's, that was no joke. And that's beautiful, man, because, you know, if we were slacking, he probably wouldn't have went that hard. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. He always goes hard, but he went extremely hard. He, yeah, he you killed it. You know what I'm saying? He killed it. So, you know, I, I, I expect a lot out of this, man, because I give so much. But just imagine how I feel, brother, that all my success is happening when music is free. Streaming. Yeah. All these things are happening to me when music is free. Yeah. That's just like a, a kick in the ass. Like yeah. all this work I've been doing, and then you now I can't yeah. get paid for it. For my... Masterpieces. Yeah. Not just me just doing a single and putting it out and selling a million copies, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about albums. Yeah. Which I'll do that too, you know what I'm saying? We've been talking about that. Like, I'm going to just put out some singles too. You know what I'm saying? I but I'm going to still do my albums. Yeah, I mean, nobody can ever say that tech doesn't put out dope music mm-hmm. and tech 
doesn't no one can say you don't go out there and work the records like go on world you star. two you two <laughs> go on world star <laughs> i mean but those aren't those are the cat what i, I what i call the, the casual hip, the hip-hop fans or yeah the youngsters and it's like like i remember some youngsters i remember sitting down in the lobby looking at you dead tired doing an interview with me and it was the tour where it was supposed to be like 90 shows in 99 days and you end up doing like 99 shows in 105 days yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. like you've earned the respect to pretty much to do whatever totally. you choose to do in this game man Man, I can silence a lot of people if some of the people that I do verses for put the music out. Mm. Like, I did something with Havoc of Mob Deep and it's murder. I ain't never came out with it. Alchemist did the beat. It ain't came out yet. I did something for. Wow. I did something for DJ K Slay a long time, like almost two years ago, man. And I ain't heard it yet, you know what I'm Ooh. saying? It's like it could silence a lot of people that say that I'm corny, you know what I'm saying? They just don't hear me yeah. over those kind of tracks. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I got one with me and Royce that never came out, but it's gonna come out, I'm sure. He said he's gonna, he said he's gonna put it out soon, hopefully, but it's, Ooh, man. But, but it's going on two years, I think, you know, because I was doing, I recorded it when I did The Devil's Carnival. I remember hearing the hook and Chris sent it to me. I was on the set of Devil's Carnival, like, ooh, I'm gonna murder this, and I got home and I did it. So it's been a that while. You, that track is good. <clears throat> I did yeah. one with this Cali Swag District dude named Mr. Smith that had Busta Rhymes on it, and I got Busta Rhymes back for getting me on my song, Worldwide Choppers, <laughs> and nobody will ever hear it, because I'm oh. the only one that got it, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, man. You know, um, it's songs that I do with people, man, that never drop, dog, you know what I'm saying? That could really help my case. But we're helping my case, too, because yeah. I, keep, I keep coming with killer shit, just like Sriracha today, you know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I surround myself with killers, like, Jordan Lucas I was and, just about to and uh, about Logic and um, Twisted Insane and um, King Iso, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, all the young gunners like uh, JL and Joy yeah. Cool and, you know what I'm saying? It just goes on, Hurricane, it just goes on and on and on and on, you know what I'm saying? Snow the product, you know what I mean? Um, Stop right there, wait a minute. All right. Wait a minute. Hobson, you know, Dizzy, you know, Jaren, you know, I... I I surround myself with Actually, I did an interview murderers. with Jerry, And we started Rich. cracking. Rich is super. Recognize. Burn. The, the, I mean, you know let's, let's just say all the strange music is yeah, super yeah, dope. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you just got a monster roster. Totally. But you're missing one. What? And you, you need to go in and kick the doors down in Atlantic and tell them to give up that contract. What? Well, snow. Yeah. I know. Because, like, and we've talked about this before. I know. Because you, you, you were honest and said you missed I missed you it. missed it, but I, missed it. I still come on, I st- man. Like, I still, I think I could. I think by now, she'd be bigger than what she is if we had her. It's it's time, think. but she's Did on you? a bigger label, so I don't understand why they don't get it. Or maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. No, no, no. They here. Here, here's the problem, and you, and you understand <clears throat> the game. Mm-hmm. Major labels will sign someone just off buzz, not thinking if they have anybody in the office that mm-hmm. can do the job or. Totally. The person that signed him is yeah. not there anymore. Travis told me so. to, to check her out some years before I did, and I was slow on it, and I hate it. You need, so, like, yeah. you and Travis kicking some doors and get that contract <laughs> out because Snow belongs on Strange. So what we'll do is we'll bond. Big Shug out of jail. <laughs> Have him go to Atlanta, <laughs> get baby girl for us, bring us over here. Yo, because she's, she's, she's so... She's so I mean, I'm not telling you anything you don't know, but Snow the Product. I mean, Psalm One is another one that like, Psalm One. Yeah, Psalm and, One and Angel Davenport. Yeah, that those are my like. Jesus. Snow is like my. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Psalm One is like my sister. Psalm like one. I help her out a lot, yeah, and that's I saw, like I saw her. I saw her perform some years ago after Sound Set when I went to their after party, uh, the Rhyme Sayers after party. Yeah. And she was buzzing. I'm like, who is that? Yeah. And, and you put I'm, me on the angel. Yes. Because she came in the tour bus uh, mm-hmm. and just chilled. And uh, yeah, you told in, me all about she, it. She yeah. was in Minnes- uh, uh, Milwaukee. 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 Yeah, yeah. Milwaukee, yeah. You put, yeah. And then all of a sudden, Psalm told me that they're forming a group. Yeah. They got Angel down. I'm like, yo, I met her before. And Tech put me onto her. That's the only That's way I know about the music. I feel like I left, uh, missed out on Angel Davenport. I had her like this. I had her. I had her. They're and and I, was, I, was, I was close to her manager because her manager is from mm-hmm. Kansas City. You know what I'm saying? And they fell out. And her manager sent 
us and Travis some really bad stuff about her, and Travis was like, okay, I don't want none of that. Oh, and it messed the whole thing up with Angel Davenport. I was this close to oh. having that Lady of Strange, man, you know what I'm saying? After I missed Snow, you know what I'm saying? And Angel is like multi-talented as yeah. well, you know what I'm saying? She can sing, she can rap. She was on there with me and Game, killing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, on the song Priorities, you know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. the skit Priorities. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and uh, that was another one that slipped through my fingers. She texts me every once in a while, see if I'm okay, and I'm like, are you okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, they got their girl group now, so they're, I know. they're grinding and touring. I know, and I know, work, I know, so I know. And they're super treacherous. dope, yeah. Yeah. So you have, there's one thing that you, you, you talk about in the interviews recently, but you have yet to say. What? The heavy metal group that's on the project. Now, <laughs> like, I, in my yeah. head, I'm thinking, I'm like, well, he's already worked with Surge, so, is it system, like, so System of Down isn't a big deal. He I, would did talk about, I did that. I did yeah, that. Yeah, like he would talk this about that. This is with Slipknot. Yeah, and then you work uh -huh. with Slipknot, uh -huh. and it's like, who? Like, who else is it? Yeah, who Just is think it? about it. Just think about it. There's a couple of them that has to be done, and one of them got done on this new oh. album. Oh, so which one is it? Out of who, though? Oh, you're going to make me... <laughs> <laughs> well, you already done something with the door. You know what? So this, like, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Um, I think I'm gonna tease it in a couple days and oh, have people guess it. Me. Guess uh, who the feature is on my Instagram? I've been I, I've been asking Travis them. Can I just tease it because it's just so dope? Oh, <laughs> can man. I tease it? He's like, man, wait, 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 wait till we drop the video. Wait till we drop Taracha and maybe. Well, Sriracha we'll came out know. today. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. I mean, so it dropped. Yeah, I know. I'm working yeah, hard, yeah, man. I'm working yeah, hard. Yeah. Okay, so if I got the doors already. Yep. I got the Deftones already. Yep. Um, Slipknot. I got, I got Slipknot. And, and System, System of a Down. Down. Uh, I mean, if you those, if you're talking, I can't. You hardcore, got, though. Hardcore. hardcore? Like, what's after that? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a couple of them. You can, you can say A7X. You can say, you know, Event Sevenfold. You can say all that. But it was, like, bigger ones back, oh, back in that, you know... I'm not gonna tell you if you guess it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, man. it's big ones, you know what I'm saying? You could say Metallica. And I was gonna a, say Metallica. Somebody, but that's gonna be after this one. Metallica's gonna be after, because I already, already, already worked with Truillo, you know what I'm saying, yeah. on, uh, on the thing with um, Pastorius, you know what I'm saying? Like we did a, we did a, um, I did a song for Truillo, you know what I'm saying? And he, you know. <laughs> So I like the, the look. We, the we camera there, didn't, get, there, the camera didn't catch the look, but I caught the look. <laughs> so <laughs> Metallica will probably be next on my next album. So I got a big one on this one. See, you know what? I look, you've given me enough exclusives. I'm not going to push it. And you just talked about Metallica on the next album. Yeah. And I'm going to go for it. I don't know yeah, if I'm going to get it. Well, but, normally, and I know they know me, you know what I'm saying? But it's well, fine. normally if it doesn't happen, like we've talked about other artists getting on projects, and it may mm -hmm. not have happened the next project, yeah. but it eventually... Yeah. Happens. You work it out. Yeah, we I haven't got with Mar Marilyn Manson yet. I haven't got. I haven't got with Trent Reznor yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, we've been talking to Shine Down for a while. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been wanting Gavin Rossdale on a hook for a long time, uh, oh, but I ain't got none of that. You know what I'm saying? I need to um, stop thinking about heavy metal bands because I'm, I'm a big fan of Twenty One Pilots, and I tried to get them on this one, but they've been busy. Oh, but man. we're going to work. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get 21 up. Pilots, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the one I have on the album already. <laughs> See, I, and this is what makes it so bad. Because um, <laughs> I know you wanted to. No, it's not, he said corn. I don't, I don't. I don't know nothing about what he's talking about. I don't know nothing about, I don't know nothing about what he's talking about. Yes! Okay. No, we don't, we don't, we don't know. We I don't even know. think about corn, you know what yeah. I'm I wouldn't even think about that. <laughs> Oh, well, don't worry. This interview isn't dropping for like a week or two. So if, <laughs> even if we're right, the name's already going to be out there. But still, oh, man, this guy. Y'all crazy, dog. Y'all crazy. Uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, what's we'll, we'll get to wrapping up. What's what's really next for Tech Nine? I mean, I know you're always going to make music, homie. Yeah, you're always going to do it. I think you're going to be 90 years old. 
It's <laughs> figuring out a way to chop and maybe you have to use the oxygen mask to get the air or whatever. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe Jay Garcia style or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but really, what's next? Because you built an empire. It's not just you as an artist. I mean, you, you co-own the label, so. I have to show the world that what I've been preaching for all these years is real, man, and everybody can get with it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, you know, when you're three-dimensional, everybody ain't gonna get with everything you do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So some people on there are like, oh, Sriracha's the worst song I ever heard. You know, I'm like, yeah, really, dude? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have you heard the radio lately, my nigga? What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? Thank you, but, uh, <laughs> thank you, my goodness. But it's like, it's like uh, you know, that's just people that, you know, critics, when they listen to something for the first time, they don't get the greatness off top. And then they come back and apologize when they hear yeah. all the things that I say and everything I put into it and all the things that Seven put into a beat. You know what I'm saying? And when they dissect the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? They don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, people, but then you got people that love it. Yeah. You know, like, this is what I've been waiting on. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the other. And they're wondering why I can release so many songs, like the three that I already released mm -hmm. on the ninth, you know what I'm saying? Everybody but me. I get it now. What if it was me? The thing uh, for the pre-order, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. thing. Now, Sriracha. Sriracha, yep. You know what I'm saying? They wonder how I can release five songs like that and still be cool. I got so much music, dog, on this record, dude. I'm talking about I got so much. I'm, I'm talking about, man, I wish I could tell you some of the features. Man, you're going to freak the fuck out, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, off camera, maybe. Yeah. Maybe yeah, off camera. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if but, you made it on the bus and I played it for you, and then you understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? My leg is in that hurt. My yeah, cane, my cane yeah, over here will yeah, help me get yeah, on a bus. Yeah. He said, I'm telling um, you, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's like, a, I don't have a lot of features on here, but the ones I got, I got a couple of dreams uh, off. I got a few dreams off, more than a few. You know what I'm saying? You make that Atlantis? I got the new, I got the new Jimi Hendrix on this album. And everybody knows him. That's all I'm saying. When are you gonna make that Atlantis? I got the new black dude with the guitar that can't nobody touch. That's all I'm saying. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, he's giving hints. This is yeah. what I love. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave here and start going nuts, figuring out who's who and what's what. I'm telling you. So I'm telling you. Um, this get your buzz up. We're constantly trying to help artists. You've always given some dope tips. Mm -hmm. One of the illest tips that I still use in presentations <clears throat> and that artists still click on and listen to is when you told them, you know, you got to start, start in your household and start mm -hmm. on your block and uh -huh. start on your hood and move mm -hmm. to the next hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have another gem that you can share with aspiring artists to help them essentially get their buzz up? Yeah, it's easier now because you have social media. We didn't have it. We had to do everything, groundwork, you know what I'm saying? Street teams, this, that, and the other. And it's easier now with social media, man. You can put something up, and next thing you know, you have a million hits and two million hits, and, you know, next thing you know, you have a record deal or you're, you're starting your own label with the money you, that you have from your job or whatever, which is harder when you take a loss because once you take a loss, you don't want to keep going, but you got to have that umph to keep on getting up and going if you truly believe in it, man, you know what I'm saying? It's um, it's um, it's it's broader spectrum now. You know what I'm saying? You can drop your music that you record in your basement on YouTube and and put it out there and like go to my page and hear this and the next thing you know, Def Jam is calling you or Strange Music is calling <laughs> you. You know what I'm saying? It's like um, you just have to utilize all these um, ways to get your music out there, man, you know what I mean? Whether it be Facebook, whether it be Twitter, whether it be, you know what I'm saying, Instagram, whether it be Snapchat, whatever you're using, dog, you know what I'm saying? It's out there, you know, for you to get your product to the people. So we envy you, but we're right with you. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's it, man. Thank you so much for the interview, man. Totally. It's always a blessing, fam. Always a blessing to, yeah. to sit down with you. I love doing interviews. Uh, totally. And Mr. Get Your Buzz Up, we out.